Matthews chapter 10, verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahav Rakakudash, double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men that taught me this truth through the Spirit. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, teaching this word of truth and sincerity, and peace and blessings to the rest of the elect of the house of Israel that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The name of this show slash discourse is going to be we will be terrified, but the Lord will be glorified. And what inspired this show was I can't, you know, it came out. Uh, we was talking about the plagues, the the, the 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 signs of the times, you know, and how we're going to live through. Lord, will we be those men? We're going to live through. The pestilence, we're going to live through the earthquakes, we're going to live through the uproars of the people, where some of us is even going to live through the second death, you know, and that's going to be a reality for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Mexicans, which are the Israelites according to the Bible, in the whole world, everybody's going to experience the judgment that's written in the Bible, the prophecies, the plagues, the the punishments, the wrath that the Lord is going to bring upon the planet Earth. But the elect is the only ones that will be saved, delivered, and protected. All right? So the scriptures say, Matthew 7 and 28, and fear not them which kill the body. So we're not supposed to fear man, mortal, whether it's Esau, Edom, or even two-thirds of our people that has the power to kill the body. Because we understand through the scriptures, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. So it's the Lord that decides who lives and who dies, not the man that you might be afraid of or the man that's trying to kill you, the pestilence that's killing people the riots, whatever it may be. We understand that the Lord controls everything. It says, but it says, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy the body, s s both and fear, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both the soul and body in hell, which represents the second death, Represents the thermonuclear destruction. All right. So we're going to be terrified. Living through all these catastrophes. Let's read it. This is Exodus chapter 20 verse 18. And all the people saw the thunderings. And the lightnings. And the noise of the trumpet. And the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it. They removed it stood afar off, and they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not the Most High speak with us, lest we die. So the Most High was speaking to Moses, all right, after he delivered us from Egypt. The Most High delivered us from Egypt, and the people wanted to speak to the Most High directly. So the Most High just came upon a mountain. And the people were shook. The people were shook. Because when he spoke, there was thundering, lightning, earthquakes, smoke. They were shook, man. And the people glorified the Lord. And they said, Lord, you know, uh, Moses, you, you deal with the Most High. We'll listen to you. But we don't want the Most High to speak to us directly lest we die. And But that's exactly what is going to happen in these days. The Lord is going to speak to you through the sword. The Lord is going to speak to you through famine. The Lord is going to speak to you through pestilence. The Lord is going to speak to you 
through that thermonuclear destruction. Because you didn't take heed to the words of the prophets that the Lord was speaking through. Telling you to repent. Telling you to change your ways. Telling you to sin no more. The Lord is going to visit you. And seeing all that death. Seeing family members, co-workers, neighbors. And everybody just being taken out. It's going to have you scared, man, because we in the flesh. We're going to pray and hope that the Lord doesn't visit us how he visit the masses of these people. Final scripture, Revelations 11, 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life for the most high enter into them. All right. Start with Abba Bivens in the 1960s when the Lord put the spirit back upon his people to remember who they were, to remember their language, to remember our customs and our ways according to the Bible. It says, and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Esau and Edom is scared. The Caucasian race is terrified. You see what's going on with all this Black Lives Matter crap. Yeah, we know it's a lot of agents. It's a lot of paid people. But you got a lot of blind followers as well. You got a lot of other low-class Edomites that scared and try to get black people on their good side. But this is talking about them seeing the Israelites. Because that's that that um, the men that stood upon their feet, the elect, the government body, all right? And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to the heaven in the cloud and their enemies beheld them. So when the Lord returns, when the Most High sent his son to deliver the remnant of the nation of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians? He's going to beam them up into the clouds, which represents the chariots. The world ignorantly calls them UFOs. And they ascended up into the heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. You read the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. How the scriptures say that The people was at all. Oh, I'm saying it for verbatim. The people was terrified because the ones that was despised and rejected was getting delivered. The silly ones that was getting ridiculed for being on the corners, for having so-called dresses. They was, those are the same guys that's going to be delivered. And who's the enemy to you Israelites? The so-called white race and the heathen nations. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city fell. That great earthquake is going to happen after the thermonuclear missiles hit their, um, their targets. Which is America and all the other rulerships of Esau and Edom. And there was a great, and in the earthquake were slain of men, 7,000 which represents completion. The scriptures say that the, uh, the slain of the Lord were many. And it says, And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the Most High of heaven. So we're going to be terrified. Lord's will we are the men. We're going to be scared to fucking death, man. But we understand that these things must come to pass for our salvation to come. We understand America must fall. The economy must collapse. The RFID chip must be pushed. It must be a World War III. The missiles must be shot. 
for the Lord to return to save us. So yes, we're going to be frightened. We're going to be terrified, but we're going to glorify Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushah for working his works. We're going to praise the Lord for bringing wrath and destruction to this world. This ungodly society. Because we understand when the Lord brings his plagues, his punishments, his judgment, that after it is righteousness, peace. Everything that the Lord promised his people is going to happen. But pretty much that's it. I pray and I hope that y'all were edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Rakakwadash. Leave your comments, do your responses. Until next time, I say Shalom.